Yes, first of all, because I know it was a tough day for you yesterday. This this is for Knicks fans. It's a glass half empty, but hold on. I think this is more like it. I'll just leave one little drop. See, there's a little drop on the bottom. It's a glass almost entirely empty. That's for you. And then also, I know it, it, the, 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 the big free agent signing, I wanted to be the first one to get you a Julius Randle jer jersey. I hope you rock it. You rock it with pride. <laughs> Molly, I thought they were supposed to get KD and Kyrie, the Knicks. I think they would have got KD if he didn't get hurt. It's the Taj Gibson and Kyrie out of the has garden. the control. He's from Jersey. That's where he wanted to go. How's he going to recruit guys? He got hurt. That's I made fun of the signing of Julius Randle, who mm -hmm. the Lakers just let go. The teams were just letting him go. It looked like the league had passed that type of player yeah. by. I owe him an apology. Julius Randle is... A top five MVP candidate. Absolutely. And, and I cannot remember even a single other instance in the history of the NBA mm -hmm. of a guy drafted up high. Doing more or less. Looked like he was what he was after five, six years in the league right. and then doing this. That's it's right. unbelievable. That's right. Unbelievable. Absolutely. And it's Absolutely. all hard work. You could see him hitting the threes. Okay. Is Kawhi actually a better player under pressure than the great Kobe Bean Bryant? Yes, he is. Kobe, no one had more heart than Kobe. Like, Kobe's not scared of anything. But because Kobe was the best bad shot maker who ever lived, he would take a lot of bad shots under pressure because he knew he could make them. But just look at how often he made them compared to what Kawhi is doing. Kawhi takes higher percentage shots and makes them more often under pressure than Kobe Bryant did. I'm not making it up. When you try to deride the statistics, I know you're both going to just assert that I'm wrong. But when you say, oh, just can't look at the numbers, you understand statistics are records of events. When they say in late and close games, Kobe Bryant shot inefficiently, his team got less efficient, those numbers are records of events that occurred. We could go back and watch the video, and you will see they all occurred. Kawhi Leonard, under pressure, ain't missing. He's already been a finals MVP, and that was before he was in his prime. Under pressure, yes, Kawhi is better than Kobe was. Yep. Is Duran a lock top five player no. in the NBA? No. In fact, I put him five, and he's fighting for that fifth spot. Now, for anyone who knows, that's a hot take. I get it because you're like, how could that be? It's disrespectful for KD. KD, I mean no disrespect. You're an you know I said top five player top in five. the NBA. We don't know what the subject is because the fact of the matter is I let you talk. I didn't say a word. Not a word. Yeah, I actually I, sat here. I, know, but I, I actually sat here but and listened to your flagrant ignorance. The reality but is Kevin Durant is <laughs> one. Uh, Kevin Durant, not a top five player. But you Kevin could, Durant, you not a top yell five that player. From the I apologize. Let's Kevin Durant. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me, let me, I'm whispering. I'm whispering. Kevin Durant's not a top five I just finished doing it. This is so much fun. I just finished doing it. I just finished doing it. Player by player. I'm having such a good time. Anthony Davis right now is a better defensive player. And KD, though, I'm not going to add. And like he's it's not, not a close. better offensive player than KD. KD is close. KD's a great defensive player. AD's better. Offensively, <sighs> right now, actually, AD is a more valuable, slightly, again, it's close, offensive player than KD has been so far this year. He's also a lot younger than KD. So the idea that KD has certain <sighs> career averages, we're talking about right now. Right now. Actually, AD's shooting the three better. Actually, AD's team has a better record, and he's on a worse team. Or, excuse me, has a comparable record, and he's on a worse team. Actually, AD has more points, more rebounds. These are the kind of counting numbers that you like. His PER is among – I think he's leading the league in PR, so it means a higher PR, and he's averaging more minutes per game. Does anybody so have AD a pillow? AD is better than KD. I have a pillow right here because I'm having back spasms. Is, is there a place that I can so go where I can take a nap? Can I take, can I use a, can I use a, take a nap? Can I take a nap? Can I kick my feet up <laughs> or something? Here, I mean, I, mean I wish I could just put it right there. Put it right there. Put it right back there for me, please. Put it right back there for me, please. Of everyone on Golden State, open shot. Fate of the universe on the line, or the Martians have the death beam pointed at Earth, you better hit it. I want Iguadala. That's right. And I know what that sounds like. And it's not fair to Steph because so much defensive attention is paid to him. And I'm not saying Steph's not a better shooter. He's a way better shooter. Iguadala's got ice water in his veins. For Kawhi Leonard. Of course Kawhi Leonard is the best player in basketball, and it's about time people recognize it. He was the best it, with a healthy KD. 
clearly Golden State would have won and people would have mistakenly called KD better than Kawhi. Just like with a healthy KD, clearly they destroyed the Cavs last year and people, some people mistakenly called KD better than LeBron. LeBron has the postseason to remind us that he's the best in the game usually because he, he, you know, plays it safe during the regular season, takes his foot off the gas, doesn't spend himself because he knows the postseason's where it's at. He didn't make the playoffs this year. We won't see him again until the playoffs. He's almost 36 years old. Who knows? So the, the title's vacant. That's what I said to start the playoffs. Baton is down. Who wants to pick it up? Kawhi. Remember what he did against Philadelphia? Anyone remember the last shot, let alone the series? Remember what he then did to the Greek freak who I thought was going to prove himself the best player in the game? A physical mismatch. And then what he just did to the Golden State Warriors. The most points scored in a single postseason ever? MJ won, LeBron two, Kawhi three. Wendy just brought it up. MVPs with two set finals, MVPs, two separate franchises. Kareem, LeBron, now Kawhi. You know who the three greatest players of the modern era are? MJ, Kareem, and LeBron. And Kawhi finds himself on lists with those kind of names. Larry Bird is right there with those kind of names. Everyone always likes to talk about defense. They play lip, pay lip service to it. So when I was a kid, they told me Julio Cesar Chavez and Mike Tyson were the best pound for pound in the world. I saw this guy, Pernell Whitter. I said, well, no one can hit him. Everyone, Felix Trinidad, shame what about Floyd Mayweather. No one can hit him. Kawhi plays defense like he's Pernell Whitaker or Floyd Mayweather, but now his offense is almost as good as anyone's in the game. Let me tell you something else, finally. If Kawhi Leonard goes to the Clippers, you heard it here first, the Clippers are winning the NBA title next season. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. What if AD, first. What if AD goes to the Lakers? If Kawhi goes to the Clippers, the Clippers are your NBA champions. Stop right next there. Stop right there. Year. I have a question. Are you? But this Clippers team, I am telling you right now, will win a championship, and I believe that will happen this year. And when that happens, you will create this year. This season, when that happens, they will create new fans in LA that are. Clippers fans instead of Lakers fans. But I have no idea if LeBron is capable of continuing to be the best player in basketball. But I thought before he got hurt, a healthy Kawhi was nipping at his heels anyway because Kawhi had turned into the, a guy who was capable of being the focal point offensively on a championship team. And he's one of the greatest defenders ever. And he's in his physical prime. And he just won his second MVP of the finals, yep. right? And he'll take the other team's best perimeter player, even big, and shut them down, you know, every single night while he's giving you nearly 30 on the other end. By the way, efficiently and in crunch time, right? So I hear what you're saying about LeBron, but it's been a grip since he has been in the playoffs making a run. It's a couple seasons ago already, and he didn't win. He didn't have the crew to win, but okay, he didn't. We haven't seen LeBron as the last man standing in a minute now. And we haven't seen him in the playoffs. It'll be almost, by the time he makes the playoffs, two years since the last. So we don't know for sure. But we know for sure about Kawhi. That's a bad dude right now. And as of right now, you want to say it's because LeBron's been in exile, that, that Kawhi's got the chip? Fine. But Ka Kawhi's got the chip. He's sitting on the throne right now. Right at this moment, he's the best player in the NBA. Like, they have all the things they need, plus the experience together, the rest of the team, plus the coach. The Lakers don't have that stuff. The Lakers have LeBron and AD and a bunch of name brands that we don't know how much they have left or how good they really I'm not are. Ready. I'm not Because a couple years ago, he stopped being the best player all the time and started just being the best player in the playoffs, right? Because he needed to preserve himself. KD was better in the regular season. Steph was better in the regular season. Arguably, James Harden. But then when, when crunch time came, LeBron separated himself they and showed you what's what. They didn't low manage Kawhi this year? But here's the problem. Here's the difference with Kawhi. Kawhi's not KD who had to join a championship team that won 73 games in order to get his chip. Kawhi is not Steph Curry who's undersized or James Harden who has choked under pressure. Kawhi is that dude who was a finals MVP when he was a puppy and didn't even yep. know how to play offense yet. And then he developed into an MVP caliber player. See, and now see, he's 27 see, see, coming off a of finals here's, MVP. Here's the, here's, the, here's the problem that I have with you. Tim Duncan was on that team. Well, last year. Tony Parker was on that team. Last year... 
-hmm. The whole Warriors team got hurt. Well, listen. And I'm this is not about Kawhi if, not being great. This Marcus, is but if, Kawhi Kawhi did not have the team last year that LeBron had when he beat the 73 win Warriors. He didn't have Kyrie, he didn't have Kevin Love, he didn't have that kind of a crew. So he was gonna lose to and by the way, that crew would have lost to a KD Warriors anyway. That was before KD got there. Marcus. What he did last year on the way to the finals, Next, beating the Embiid series. and Simmons. Yep, yep, but yep. by the way, I'm beating the sixes. Freak, he shut down the Freak four consecutive yep. games. Yep, and you know who else I've seen do that? Yeah, back then, we don't know if he still can. But you, if you want to say LeBron will reclaim the throne, let me go see him do that. That's one. Two, roster, you're right. Lakers got the best roster in the league. Roster doesn't mean team. The Clippers... With a, against a healthy KD-led Warriors team, fully loaded Warriors team, went six games, won 48 regular season games, and then won six against the Warriors, and then replaced Gallinari and Shea Gilgis-Alexander with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. By the way, they're coached by Doc Rivers. Think of the way the pieces fit now. If you have two attack dogs who can kill you on defense and score on the other side, uh, uh, and can get out and transition, do the whole thing, right? What kind of point guard you got? You need? You want a real dribble penetrator who monopolizes the ball? Nah. You need a guy to get those guys the ball who can play defense and shoot threes. I don't know, a guy like Patrick Beverly. So how devastating is this loss for Kawhi? So you asking me, Molly? Yeah. Asking you, Max. <laughs> Devast who else? Totally devastating. Who the hell else would Kawhi she be asking the that regular question season? To? <laughs> Kawhi during the regular season is not LeBron or KD. That he's, he's a quarter step below that even in the last several years. The reason I have been calling him the best player in the world over the last year is because when it mattered most, he was better than anyone. And he had an entire playoff series, not just the finals, bell to bell in the playoffs, just about as good as anyone who ever lived, right? So when you have that in that moment of high leverage, and we're talking about a league where regular season is whatever, <coughs> the fact is more than 50% of the teams make the playoffs, 16 out of 30. So you got to wait till the playoffs to see who really the best player is. Now, LeBron was not available to play in those playoffs. That is true. Nevertheless, Kawhi took it by force. And I'm not trying to hear that, well, KD and Clay were hurt. If KD and Clay were healthy, no team was going to beat the Warriors, including a LeBron-led team. No one was going to beat that team. So, of course, those guys, or at least KD, had to get hurt for Kawhi to win. But he was an all-time great when, he, when they needed it most. And given the way he played in high-leverage moments throughout his career, I give that much more weight than the regular season, where he's still great, but not quite MVP, just below MVP. But I give much more weight to when it matters most. So that's Kawhi. Kawhi is the one dude who must show up in a game seven, who cannot allow a team led by him to, who, that's led by double digits in three straight games uh, around halftime, right? Because that means they got enough to win. He cannot allow that team to collapse. He's the leader of the team. It counts heavily against him at the moment. Now, if the, if the Nuggets do the same thing to the Lakers... We can have another conversation. Now, it doesn't mean Kawhi's reputation is now ruined forever. LeBron choked in four fourth quarters against the Dallas Mavericks once upon a time when he was on a super team that he created. Kobe Bryant had a 3-1 lead on the Suns, and they wound up losing in seven. It's not that Kobe's on the third team that's the outrage. It's that he's on any of these teams at all that Max. is the outrage. That's an outrage. Kobe Bryant... You're Look, an outrage. There is, so if you had wait, to put him on any team, is he if the you had most to put him on, if you had to put these him on two, any team, years, yeah. it, since he can't be like all NBA best team, what yeah. team would he be on? He he would be on the all NBA worst team. Oh actually, my God. oh my look, goodness! Oh look, my God! Look, look, You're kidding. Twenty. The, the point yeah, you, is this. Go home. The point is this. You go home. He averaged. Goodbye. Kobe Bryant's on the worst team. Goodbye. He averaged 22 points a game. That's a game. That's a terrible offensive player. You called him the most destructive player in the but, NBA. The all, but the all worst team. Conference finals are going to come down to an all Staples Center showdown. They please, share please, the building. What pray. amazing non travel would that be? And what I'm going to tell you right now, and he's going to have to start getting his excuses ready for LeBron now. Yeah. Believe it or not, Stephen A., you're going to have to get your excuses ready for LeBron. <laughs> Imagine that. He That's does right. Something. He does something. Remember. Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers 
are going, and I'm a Lakers fan, mm -hmm. are going to beat the Lakers this season. I'm not looking ahead. I'm talking about this upcoming season in the Western Conference Finals at Staples Center. Kawhi Leonard will be playing defense on LeBron James when Paul George isn't. He will be doing the best possible job anyone in history could have ever done on LeBron James. LeBron's still going to get his. He's that great. But Kawhi is going to be fantastic defensively. Yeah. On the other end, Kawhi is going to be the leading offensive player for the Clippers. He will therefore clearly be the best player in the series on the winning team. Mm -hmm. The Clippers will then go on to win the championship, mm -hmm. and Kawhi Leonard will be the MVP. Mm -hmm. Meaning LeBron, at least this year, mm -hmm. cannot reclaim the throne.